What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Bitcoin Daily. I am Jay, and today we are talking about this crazy explosion that we have going on today. As you guys know, we finally broke through that 12,000 resistance that we've been talking up to you guys about for over a week now. We've, guys, we've been telling you guys this over and over and over to anybody that will listen. Finally, it happened, came to fruition. Um, not only did we break through 12K, but we've also broken through 13,000. So uh, we're gonna go over the news on why uh, we got this boost and what we think the next targets could be and what we see on the charts for Bitcoin. Um, so real quick, as you guys know, that we always like to do, just take a look at the market cap here and look at some of the top 10 prices. As you guys can see, Bitcoin up in the last 24 hours, 10% in 24 hours, guys. That's right. It's currently trading around 13,080. Um, in the last seven days, we're up about 15% almost. Um, so it has been a crazy, crazy day. The global crypto market cap is at 392 billion. Um, which is up seven and a half percent over the last 24 hours. Um, as you guys can see here, Ethereum also up eight percent today. So that's also shot up. It's at the four hundred dollar resistance. Um, XRP is up four percent. Bitcoin Cash up seven percent. Binance Coin up four. Chainlink up nine and a half percent. Polkadot up eight percent. Litecoin finally showing some life. It is up fifteen percent. Cardano up about five percent, guys. So everything is pretty much green. There are, there's always going to be a little bit of red here and there, but for the for the most part, the majority of the coins today are green, as you can see here. <coughs> I need some water, man. I didn't bring, I didn't bring no water today. Uh, anyway, so let's let's take a look at the news first uh, before we before we dive into the chart. So the main thing that happened today here was uh, PayPal. So as you guys can see here, PayPal giant, well, payments giant PayPal says its customers can now buy and sell Bitcoin. So that was the main thing that happened today. Um, let's go ahead and read this article. Payments giant PayPal says its customers can now buy, sell, and hold Bitcoin and other virtual coins with the company's on online wallets. The company also says its customers will be able to use crypto uh, currencies to shop at over 26 million merchants on its network starting in early 2021. Guys, that is huge. That is so big, guys. We are going to be able to shop using our Bitcoin through PayPal. That is enormous, guys. Um, a report quotes the company's president and uh, Chief Executive Dan Shulman saying that they hope the service will encourage global use of virtual coins and prepare its network for digital currencies that may be developed by central banks and corporations. Um, it continues, we're working with central banks and thinking of all forms of digital currencies and how PayPal can play a role. Um, according to a report, U.S. accounts holders can start buying and selling cryptocurrencies in the coming weeks. As you guys can see here in the coming weeks while other while there are plans to expand this this to venmo and some other countries in the first half of 2021 so that's another big thing guys expand to venmo the report adds that paypal which has secured the first conditional cryptocurrency license from the new york state department of financial services will initially allow purchases of bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies uh, called Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. PayPal has partnered with Paxos Trust Company to offer the service. Meanwhile, the, the report further explains cryptocurrency payments on PayPal will be settled using fiat currencies such as the US dollar, meaning merchants will not receive payments in virtual currencies. So basically, that means that uh, you can pay someone with your Bitcoin and the merchant, it, it's going to be trans basically uh converted into usd when you make the payment so you can pay anybody in the world really 
whether they accept Bitcoin or not, it doesn't matter because uh, it's automatically transformed into USD. Um, the news of PayPal's entry hit the crypto space and huge endorsement of crypto assets and it comes as more mainstream organizations are buying Bitcoin and other digital assets. The payment giant's entry is likely to spark the wider adoption of cryptocurrencies given its wide reach. According to a report, PayPal has 346 million active accounts around the world and processed 222 billion in payments in the second quarter. So guys, that is huge, huge, huge news. It is huge. And although they are talking about, you know, uh, central banks and all that, doesn't matter. Central banks are going to have to, uh, they're going to have a role in the digital currency space. Um, that's something that that's they're gonna try to do, and they're they're, they're there's gonna be a, a role for them, you know what I mean? Um, but they're but we're still gonna have, you know, the role that we currently have with Bitcoin. So that that'll be central banks using other different type of coins. That has nothing to do really with Bitcoin. Um, maybe you'll have to like transfer Bitcoin into whatever other coin for the central banks. You know, who knows what they come up with? But that's still saying that they have to go through Bitcoin you know what I mean there's only so much that they can do to centralize um, so uh, this is another another article uh, basically saying the same thing Bitcoin's now trading at the highest price it's seen well over a year with bulls aiming for 13,000 as its strong up uptrend gains momentum so we've already hit 13,000 as you guys can see we're on chart as you guys can see there um today's news regarding paypal's foray into the crypto market provided the benchmark cryptocurrency with a serious boost its price surged to over thirteen thousand, um but it does appear to be poised for further gains uh, the recent uptrend has come about in the absence of any immense bullishness in the stock market with btc incurring independent momentum where trends next will likely depend on how long it can stay above 12,000, which we're already above 13. Um, so yeah, guys, this is super exciting news. Um, I am super excited. I am hoping that you guys watched our previous videos and were able to capitalize on this move. Um, guys, we've been giving you guys so much content, so much free content, so many free trade setups. Guys, we told you about this level here. We even pointed it out. Uh, the 11,200 was the mark where you wanted and needed to buy. We probably did five different videos talking about this level. Um, and as you guys can see, as soon as it touched this level, it took off, guys. Look at this. It took off. Guys, we told you this level, 11,200 and it took off that's what you call take off guys that is what you call the moon guys that is what you call lambos where are we are in lambo city tonight um so yeah guys as you, as you guys can see it is currently trading at thirteen thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars rsi is way the fuck over here basically about to break from how high it is um so the momentum is there um eventually it's gonna have a breather but you know we don't know yet when that's gonna happen so we're just gonna keep riding it until the wheels fall off so uh the, the new targets that we're setting right now are gonna be um 13,200 as our first target uh, our second target is 13,000. Here, let me let's let's look over here. So 12,500 is going to be a support here, but if we go back to the last time that we traded in this range, it's back here, right? Um, and you see how high this RSI was over here. Uh, it was around 87. Um, and this is when we went all the way up to 14k. So this was last year uh, in June. So as you can see here, 13200 is a level where there was price action. Um, 
then also the 13500 and then we like the the 13400 level so those are the levels that we're using um, to take profits those are the levels that we're looking at for um, for entry as well so let, I'm, I, I came all the way back to 2018 when we had this mega trend right here so I wanted to see if I see anything different here so 12k was a was the big one right and look what happened after we broke that 12k mark we shot all the way up to 13,006 13,700 it looks like we closed that day at 13,000 almost 13,700 uh, next day we shot from 137 all the way up to the high was 17,000 guys the high the next day was 17,000 um, but we closed at 17,400 um, then we went down basically the next day we dropped to 14,000 and we bounced back up closed at 16 to 16,200 next day again we dropped to 13,200 and we bounced back we ended up closing at at 15,000 um, the next day the low was 13,200 again so that's already showing us that 13,200 there's gonna be a lot of price action there um, so 13,200 is is the first level we're taking profits on our 13,000 breakout entry um, see what else happened here and yes yeah, that's, that's pretty much it here we kind of see the same thing 13,007 is where it closed here this day it went the low of 13,400 so that's why we like 13,400 here as our second target and then 13,5 as our third target because of that whole number you know psychology and all that fun stuff we always tell you guys about so hopefully you guys have been watching our videos hopefully you've been able to take these trades and make these this these easy profits guys we have everyone in our trade room has been making thousands of dollars profits just today which covers the expense for their memberships for the entire year so um, that's basically it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, let me know any comments you have in the bottom um, make sure to follow the page and like this video if you want and if you believe that Bitcoin will hit $20,000 this year. If you guys think it's gonna hit $20,000, hit the like button, drop a comment, and hit the follow. As always guys, peace and love. See you guys tomorrow.